Okay, I'm gonna speed run this because I have food coming in like thirty uh fifteen minutes. So this week, I learned uh what the fuck did I learn? Hold on, let me bring up the note. Right, network. So this under networking principle, network, uh standard, and model. Okay, so this this chapter, we're gonna talk about how network are. Uh, Uh, standardized and what kind of cell standard standardization organization there is so first thing first what is what is a standard okay so a standard is basically a, a, a set of rule or a set of a convention that is being accepted by everyone so er, whoever that's being uh, used or whoever um, What you call? Want to use something? Um, but we have to first go through this standardization, okay? So not even use when you produce a product, you have to go through the standardized, uh, like procedure, in order so that user, customer, and whatnot will uh, have a better experience, okay? So basically, without standard, people can make their own stuff, and have it their own way right but outsider cannot or have very hard time to assess uh, those devices or those thing because they set it in a very complicated way that only they themselves know so with standard it help make everyone equal so this also help prevent uh, or help promote a more competitive uh, environment because people have now equal equals uh, is now we are in the like equal environment instead of people um, have a set or like a very island of you know what I mean standard it's just standard okay so there is actually quite a lot of standard organization institute okay um, one of the famous one is I triple E Okay, I mentioned this during my last, the first semester English class, because uh, it's one of the reference you can use format. Uh, but IEEE or Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, no sorry, Institute of er- Electrical and Electronic Engineers. I'm not gonna write that down. But this IEEE will have to generally concern more on the hardware component. Okay. And oh, it's, it's famous. Make a lot of uh, they made a lot of uh, the standard and help standardize produce a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm not gonna go into detail what they done. He say they made RS two three two C. I have no idea what that is, but I'm sure it's very useful. I'm sure we are using it right now. But I triple E. Uh, focus more on hardware. While we have ANSI, which is the American National Standard Institute. So obviously, uh, as the name suggests, is based in America. Each country have their own standard, own organization. Um, but sometimes, when one country being as big as like America, that standard can be spread around and just. Now used internationally, so this one, so I triple E is more on hardware. Uh, I N S A and I A N S I is more on software. It's not that they can't do hardware; it's just that their focus is on software, um, like programming. Okay, so they actually make a, a standard programming like C, Cobalt, or Fort Fort Run. Okay, then we have I T U, which is the International Telecommunication Union, uh, which mostly does about communication protocol. So I think it's like maybe IP address. I don't know. They say in, in the, like this literally the note here say it define number of standard including V.22, V.32, V.34, and V.42. Do I know what that is? No, but. I know it's for telecom telecommunication, so it's mostly concerned about sending information through like the telephone line, I guess. 
Then we have the ISO, uh, also a big one. The International Standard Organization may be the biggest, in fact, uh, which is not even mostly for hardware, for engineering or networking. It's actually any kind of standardization. Uh, ISO have been been made. So they have a council. They have a group meeting, annual meeting. Then, like the the high council men all sit together in a round table and it's like, mm, yes, yes, this standard need to be passed, and therefore it has been passed, and that's how new standard have been created. Okay, so how is standard accepted? Uh, I probably mentioned that is true. Uh, first of all, obviously it need to be widely uh, accepted. Okay. If only one person in the world only accept this kind of standard, then it's not really a standard anymore, am I right? Um, also, it need to be able to reproduce or re. What call? It? It's like the standard maybe has to fix an issue of like a, a bug or, or or some kind of a trouble, and that standard is to help either prevent or help um, solve the bug. So, and that standard should. Consistently, consistently, or maybe even al- always, remove that issue. So, if you have a standard that have a 50-50 chance to remove the issue that you're trying to standardize, because that's the reason you standard in the first place, then it's not really that great. You know, it's not that good. So, if you have a standard that can identify and specifically deal with the problem, then that that is also a standard to be made. So. Now, what is a protocol? A protocol is uh, um, um, it's like a, we have a standard and protocol. Standard is more like a, a how people are being accepted and whatnot. While protocol is more on the the rule side of thing, you know, like the, like the limitation and how people should act uh, when doing X Y Z. So for networking is obviously how data should be transferred. Um, so in protocol, especially in networking, you have to check for error. So it's error checking. Okay, it help uh, data compression if any. It also it also tell whether the sending device or the receiving device whether it's been started, stop, and done. So yeah, there's a protocol is quite important. So one of the I guess this is a protocol is called Novell Netware. Okay, Netware was in the 1980s, it's created and created um, a thing called IPX or the Internet Network Packet Exchange. The Internet Network Packet Exchange is a level three protocol. Do I know what is a level three? No clue. Oh, I know is that it's a level three protocol, um, but I think I know what the level three mean. I'll show you like at the end here. Um, so all you know, all you need to know that internet work, uh, packet exchange or IPX is made by Netway, a uh, Netware, and it's basically something to do with IP because you know you have IP in the name, um, and then you have a supplementary or like a cousin called SPX the sequence packet exchange uh, which is I think just like a is a is the backup for IPX and it le- in, in level 4 not layer 4 very poor uh, so then layer 4 also contain a thing called TCP or we can say TCP IP so TCP IP or we go with transmission Control protocol internet uh, protocol. So, transmission control protocol um, is one thing, and internet protocol is your IP, obviously. So, but TCP IP together is TCP on the IP. Does that make sense? Because, okay, TCP IP, one of the com- well known one is our IP address. Uh, which is our IPv4 okay so what is TCP uh, is basically it's like the delivery system okay it's like the ECP itself is the is the is the road is the channel you know 
is the channel that connect from address A to address B. Or IP address is our addresses. So you can think of it like this. Okay. We have IP address uh, IP address A, IP address B. Okay. So this is your your address. So and you want to send data to B, right? So you have to have link together with A to B. This linkage is li is the TCP, the transmission control protocol. So together, this whole packet is your TCP IP. Make sense? Cool. Um, and then lastly, we have this is what I mean by layer. Here it show me a diagram called it have layer one. I assume this layer one is called the application layer. So I'm gonna say application layer. Then you have a TCP or uh, no, this, this is a transport layer, I think. So this way, then we have a transport layer. Then lower that we have the internet layer. Then lastly, we have the network layer. Do I know what any of this mean? No, not at all. I just saw the diagram. I'm like, okay, it make kind of sense, I guess. Uh, in the layer itself, the application layer have the application layer. Insane. Uh, but it also contain the uh, presentation layer and session layer. Uh, transport layer contain guess what the transport layer network layer uh, sorry internet layer actually contain the network layer why is it called like that don't ask me and the network layer uh, not to be confused of the network layer being inside the tri uh, internet layer but the network layer itself contain the data link layer which I uh, obviously is our TCP and our physical layer which I assume is like IP or MAC address something like that um, that is that is everything so far okay um is my phone arrived yet if not i could show you there's three minutes okay i'm going to show you one thing now look at this this is cisco packet tracer um this is basically a simulated universe uh-huh some real reference but it basically is a simulation where you use uh how you basically how you know how data is being transferred so it's actually quite detailed and it's, it's, it's an actual simulation so in here you have to go through a lot of a, a long process to download this and install this and log in this and make an account of this but once you've done all this you if you reach to this page you can uh, do a lot of things so like you can have a network device okay so this is your router uh, then you can also have a switch Okay, then you can have a N device like your PC and or laptop and you can connect it. So you can have a console, you connect this to the router. So it makes you connect to the console and your laptop can also connect to a switch. So there's a lot of things, but you want, if you want to control. So basically this simulation, right, uh, all I learned, we only learn how to connect, but what we I, I i understand is that you connect this so you can assess the property of the the router so so you need to have the connection here to the console of the router then you go into your pc uh, does it show in obs it does not show i need to physically change the window each time uh, that's great lovely in fact Have I been showing it the correct? Have I show it, show you the correct thing? Oh god, I think I didn't show the correct. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I think I showed the correct. No, I don't think so. Okay, if I didn't, this is what it looks like. Okay, so down here, why is it cropped like that? Oh god, oh god. Okay, okay. Hold on. Boom. Okay, it's like this. I don't think I show you. So this is the this is the page. You come in here. You have your router. You can drag in and. And then you come here you can have your pc laptop you drag in then you use the the this con the device you connect here you sh connect it to the console then from in inside here you can then assess the property and make do something so i'm gonna change the should be here no not this this yes so this is uh your physical uh, pc so this imagine is a pc you can do your on and off here and then you mostly want to go to your desktop go to your terminal and here you then you can access um, your your router so this is connected to the router so you can actually do stuff in the router so this is actually how you mess about and
configure your router settings so for example i can say oh what's the thing like um, uh, enable okay so now router is being enabled and i can say erase this this is all i learned setup set or is it set or set up is that set up running config or set up erase set up config is that not the term okay hold on give me a second oh it's not set up it's oh god my mouse nearly dropped it's erase startup uh sorry start up config then here you can erase the config which i ah, share press the wrong button you meant to press enter there so start up config then you press enter you confirm it erase so the purpose of erasing the start config so is that it doesn't uh if you have you've, you've already done some setting to it this way you make it you, you have a blank com uh, canvas here so that's all i learned to be fair okay so that's literally all i learned is that how we have a blank com converse canvas and future next week probably we then probably can do more detailed stuff like how how and your i don't know i just installed this program and learned how to erase some setup so now you know uh yeah literally that's about it